Hey YouTube, welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host, Joss, and first and foremost, I have exciting news. We have officially joined social media, and you can now see all the behind the scenes on our Facebook and Instagram page, which are linked down below. So make sure you guys give us a follow to get all the updates. Don't forget, if you hang out with me until the end of this video, you can join in on some fun where I will respond to some comments. Guess what? Our list continues today, and I am doing a part three video of Top 10 Actors Hollywood won't hire anymore. We can all admit that actors often caught up in different scandals, bad decisions, or even false accusations. Unfortunately, being in the spotlight, it affects your career more than it would for someone who is not. So let's jump into today's list. Starting off our list at number 10 is Eddie Murphy. Yes, the hilarious comedic actor has found himself in some situations that aren't so funny. If you don't know about the story that broke the news, it was Eddie Murphy being arrested in a prostitution scandal. The arrest happened back in 1997, and don't think for a second that Hollywood has forgotten about it. On May 2nd of 1997, the police pulled over Murphy's car at 4.45 after they observed that a well-known transsexual prostitute got inside. Murphy claims that he saw a person was having some trouble and pulled over to ask if they were alright. That's when the prostitute asked him for a ride and he agreed. Murphy went on the record and said, I did nothing wrong. I was trying to be a good Samaritan and this is what happens. The prostitute was arrested but no charges were placed on the actor. Good news is, some people believed his side of the story and he still went on to book some good acting roles. However, the story resurfaced in 2015 because only one year after Murphy had picked her up, she was dead in a very mysterious circumstance. The case was opened up again all these years later, which brought up Murphy's little run-in with her. The Lip TV posted a video about journalist Mark Ebner talking about Eddie and all his past with the different prostitutions. He also shares that he met with one of the prostitutes who's been with Eddie and claims that Eddie's lawyer, Marty Singer, paid her $50,000 to change her story in the tabloids. She even had the check and records to prove it. So Eddie's reputation in Hollywood is no longer a very good one. He has booked some acting work, but nothing that puts him in the Hollywood spotlight like he used to be. At number 9, we have Paris Hilton, if you can even call her an actor. She was the big talk of the town and held a household name for her stupid saying, that's hot. She had the title of best-selling author at one point in time and was a highly paid actress, model, DJ, and brand ambassador. But we don't quite hear about her anymore, do we? Here's a few reasons why she does not book any more of her acting roles. Well, number one, she kind of sucked as an actor, if you're just going off of my opinion, but a big reason which caused a lot of controversy for the actress was her 2004 sex tape that went viral called One Night in Paris. Paris claims the sex tape was actually put out by her ex-boyfriend and was never meant to be seen by anyone. She says that it has completely ruined her life and is something she will have to explain to her kids one day. She also said that it gave her the title of a slut, which is why she only really booked roles like the slutty girlfriend in House of Wax who gives Rhoda head in one of her scenes and then dies half naked in the other. Another reason her career has been affected is because of her political views and being closely tied to President Donald Trump. She has known Trump since childhood and Trump even took it as far as speaking about her sex tape, saying that him and his wife Melania watched it together. There's a disturbing image none of us need in our minds. And to top it all off, in 2012, a recording of Paris talking in a taxi cab was leaked and it exposed her saying homophobic comments. On the recording, you can hear Paris say, most gay men probably have AIDS. Gay guys are the horniest people in the world. They're disgusting. I would be so scared if I was a gay guy. You'd like die of AIDS. When the scandal went public, you can imagine what it did to her career and also her reputation as a decent human being. Sliding to spot number 8 is Isaiah Washington, the actor who is known for his role on the famous TV show Grey's Anatomy. He found himself on Hollywood's blacklist after he made some homophobic comments at the 2007 Golden Globe Awards. This is what had his career come crashing down because he was already on thin ice for insulting his co-star T.R. Knight with homophobic language just a year earlier. After the incident at the Golden Globes, he was put in executive counseling, but not too long into it did Grey's Anatomy decide that he was going to be fired 
fired and his contract would not be renewed. After being fired, the actor was asked about it and he said, and I quote, After the incident at the Golden Globes, everything just fell apart. I lost everything. I couldn't afford to have an agent. I couldn't afford to have a publicist. I couldn't afford to continue. The former television star has found a way to continue on by starring in B-list movies and any projects that he can still get his hands on. In at number 7 we have Katie Holmes, the actress who is also known as Tom Cruise's ex-wife. The actress was once in the prime of her career booking roles in a variety of different movies. It wasn't until she began dating and then later married actor Tom Cruise that her career started to take some hits. Over the years, Cruise has faced tons of heat when it comes to his religious beliefs and his close link to Scientology. It's no coincidence that his ex-wife Nicole Kidman turned her back on him for his controversial religious beliefs as well. One of Katie's co-stars from Dawson's Creek, who remained close with Katie after all those years, says that her career had been blacklisted. They went on to tell an interviewer that her career began to take a downward spiral because Hollywood wants nothing to do with Scientology, which is believed to have skewed results of Oscar voting on more than one occasion. Some people have pointed out that no actor linked to Scientology ever wins an Oscar, like Tom Cruise himself and even John Travolta for his big role in Pulp Fiction. Not to mention, Nicole Kidman was nominated but never won an Oscar while married to Cruise, but after they divorced, she took an Oscar not too long after. Coincidence? I think not. Now that Katie is divorced from Cruz, she has returned to the Roman Catholic Church she used to go to. So maybe she has time to turn it all around if she wants to? Coming into spot number 6 is Thora Birch, an actress who many of us still watch in her movie Hocus Pocus every Halloween. She began acting as a child and turned into a star in the late 1990s and early 2000s. That's when her career really took off. She received amazing reviews for her performance in the Academy Award nominated film American Beauty and she also received a Golden Globe nomination for her role in Ghost World. The star has found herself blacklisted from Hollywood because of her difficult behavior. During an interview, when asked about her career, she said, I pissed off a lot of people over a long period of time and they found a way to upset me, hoping that upset would bring a change in my behavior, like a distancing, but I'm done. It didn't help that a story broke the news that her father, who was her manager for many years, physically threatened one of her co-stars. That's when she was fired from Dracula, the off-Broadway revival. She recently she recently returned to acting a little bit here and there, but it is clear she will never go on to be the star many people thought she could be. Halfway through the list at number 5 we have Elijah Wood, obviously known for his role as Frodo in the Lord of the Rings movie series. But what happened to him after that? He continued his acting career but got on the wrong side of Hollywood executives when he told the media that the film industry was full of sexual predators that targeted young child actors. Coming from one of the most accomplished child actors of his time, the accusation was damaging on his career. He went on to say that he never experienced that kind of abuse himself but said, and I quote, if you're innocent, you have very little knowledge of the world and you want to succeed. People with parasitic interests will see you as their prey. I mean, he's not wrong. After the comments were made, his resume began to dwindle. He began booking voiceover work instead in family friendly movies like Happy Feet, but began to move away from acting altogether. He started to progress a career as a DJ and even started his own label called Simeon Records. Swiping our number 4 spot is actress Tara Reid. Most of us girls will know her from her role in the movie Josie and the Pussycats, and most guys will know her from the American Pie movies. The actress was once very successful, finding her way to play the hottie in most of her movies. She did go on to land a role in the TV series Scrubs, which allowed her to show her talent outside of the comedic movies we always see her in. However, it wasn't long after she left the show in 2005 did she find herself caught up in hard partying, negative publicity, and awful plastic surgeries, which is a shame because she was naturally a very pretty girl. All these things have been enough for studios to have been turned off from casting her and she now finds herself booking a lot of smaller roles in short films and other projects. Here we are at number 3 with Kirstie Alley. Towards the end of the 1980s, she was one of Hollywood's biggest stars. She received a ton of recognition and praise for her role as Rebecca Howe in the TV series Cheers, even winning a primetime Emmy for her performance. She also won over the hearts of millions of American males with her stunning good looks. 
However, she struggled to remain relevant after Cheers came to an end, and some personal troubles led her to gain a significant amount of weight, to a point where she was barely recognized. It also didn't help that she was also closely linked to Scientology, which she sacrificed a lot of personal relationships for. As a result of joining the religion, reports say that many of Hollywood's executives avoided doing any business with her because they feared they would also be labeled in connection to Scientology. For years, her career took a hit, and to most of us, she kind of just fell off the face of the earth. A few years ago, she began a Weight Watchers program and lost some weight, and even landed a smaller role in the TV show The Scream Queens. But that was in 2016, and she has nothing on her IMDb resume ever since then. All right, guys, taking the number two spot on our list is Brendan Fraser, known for his role in Bedazzled and The Mummy. He was once a very popular actor that many fans adored, but during the 2000s, his career started to fade out, and a lot of people were wondering. Why? Just last year, Brendan opened up to GQ for an exclusive interview talking about what happened over all of his absent years. He opened up about his depression after his mother's death, which led to an unhealthy lifestyle and weight gain. It wasn't until this interview that he opened up about a sexual assault incident he faced with the former HFPA president Philip Burke back in 2003. He said he held it in for all these years but felt inspired by the current Me Too movement that is going on right now. Brendan said that the HFPA has never invited him back to the Golden Globes ever since the incident surfaced, and he also says no major productions are willing to hire him either. Taking our number one spot is Megan Fox. Director Michael Bay's first Transformer movie is what turned Megan Fox into an instant star. From then on, men's magazine couldn't get enough of her, and directors rushed to cast her in any upcoming action films and other projects. Let's face it, she was one of Hollywood's biggest hotties. When her feud with Michael Bay went viral and caused the majority of Hollywood to strike against her. Her. The feud between the two of them was heavily documented, and the world was thrilled to watch it all go down. It was by 2009 when the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen came out, and that is when the tension really surfaced. It got so bad that Megan called the director a Nazi and told Wonderland Magazine that, I quote, People are well aware that this is not a movie about acting. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is. She was part of the rehearsal process for the next movie, Transformers Dark of the Moon, but was fired from the movie after the Hitler comment. Bay admitted in an interview that Steven Spielberg said fire her right now after he heard the horrific comment. She went on to act in movies such as Jennifer's Body, which was a box office bomb and earned a 43% on Rotten Tomatoes. After that, she was cast in Passion Pit, which earned just 3%. I honestly think that's the lowest rating I've actually ever seen on there. Apparently, she is in a movie called Zeroville that's expected to come out this year, but it was directed and created by James Franco, who's also been blacklisted in Hollywood. At least they can all work together and create their own movies, I guess? Okay, guys, there is part three of our list. Let me know all of your thoughts and feelings down in the comments below so I can reply to some of them. For now, let's check out some comments from some of my other videos. Brian Conklin says, Great video, and I love the fact that you have a normal voice. Thanks. Uh, thank you? I'm not really sure what a normal voice is, but thanks. Frank Gollett says, any chance you were on Cricket from Toronto doing a great job on product reviews? Yes, that was me. I used to host on that game show here in Toronto. Rizzler says, wow, where does Landon find all these beautiful women for these channels? Well, thank you. And in Canada, apparently. Alpaca says, this list is mellow compared to what really goes down in Holly Weird. Seriously though, this list could probably be a lot worse. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'm your host, Joss, and I'll see you next time.